In this video, we're going to look at another conservation momentum question. This is going to be a type 3 question where the objects will collide and move away separately. So in this question, what we've got going on at the moment is before the collision, we have a car that's travelling at 10 metres per second and it's going to crash into the back of a stationary van. After the collision, the car moves away with 2 metres per second of velocity and the van will move at an unknown speed and we're expected to calculate the velocity of the van. So to do this, we need to work out the momentum of the car and the van before the collision and find the total momentum before the collision and then that will be equal to the total momentum after the collision. So you should remind that the total momentum before the collision is equal to the momentum of the car plus the momentum of the van. So we now need to work out what the momentum of the car is and the momentum of the van. So to find the momentum of the car, we do momentum is mass times velocity and then we get that the momentum is equal to 1,200 uh, 1, times by 10. I think this is the momentum of the car is equal to 12,000 kilograms meters per second. It's now going to the momentum of the van. So we, again, we know the momentum is equal to mass times velocity. And in this case, we're going to have the 3,200 kilograms multiplied by zero, which gives us a momentum of zero. So the total momentum before the collision will be equal to 12,000 plus zero, which will give us 12,000. So here we get the, the final answer, which you get is total momentum is equal to 12,000 kilograms meters per second. That will be the third mark of this question so far. We've got a mark for working out the momentum of the, the car and a mark for working out the momentum of the van. So now we need to look at after the collision. So we know that the, the conservation momentum means that total momentum before a collision is equal to total momentum after the collision. And therefore, total momentum after the collision is going to be equal to 12,000 kilogram meters per second. And that gets you the, the third mark so far. Now what we need to do is we now need to work out um, what the, moment, the velocity of the van is by setting the total momentum after the collision equals the momentum of the car plus the momentum of the van. So total momentum is equals the momentum of the car plus the momentum of the van. We're going to work out the momentum of the, the car because we've got the information we need for that. And then we're going to have to work out the momentum of the van afterwards and then find the velocity of the van. After the collision, after the collision, I've been able to calculate the momentum of the car. We can see that up at the top corner here. And so after the momentum is equal to mass times velocity, I've done 1,200, which is my mass from before, multiplied by 2, which is my velocity afterwards, to get 2,400 kilogram meters per second. Now the momentum of the van can be calculated here, doing mass times velocity again. I know that the mass of the van is 3,200 kilograms. And my velocity is what we're trying to work out, so I put that in as v. And I'm going to substitute both these two values into the equation down here. So by substituting those values in, I get 12,000 is equal to 2,400 plus 3,200 times v. And now I need to just try and simplify this equation. So I can take the 2,400 to this side by subtracting. So now we can see that by doing that calculation, we do the 12,000 minus... 2,400, that gives us 9,600 is equal to 3,200 times V. I just need to move the 3,200 now, so I can divide through by that, and that should give me my answer for V. So here's the division, so I've taken the 3,200 over to the side by dividing, and I've got 9,600 divided by 3,200, and that should give me an answer that the velocity is equal to 3. And now you can see the answer, the velocity is equal to 3 kilograms meters per second. In terms of the additional marks this question, uh, we just need two more. So you've got one for looking at this. So you've got the 12,000 is equal to 2,400, which is the momentum of the car, plus the 3,200 times the velocity for the van. And then the final mark is for rearranging that and getting a velocity of 3 kilograms meters per second. So you can now try the type 3 conservation momentum questions on your worksheet.